Hi guys, this is Mario from Dual Core Studio. Before we start with this episode, I want to announce that our first game is open for beta testing and if you want to try it out, check a uh, link in the description. Also, if you want to watch gameplay, you can check this video from Cytric Hybrid. In this episode, I will show you how to shoot arrows from walls when the player enters a treasure. First, uh, let's click play and we can see that our arrow doesn't move. So in order to move our arrow, we need a new c -sharp script. I will call this arrow script. Add this to arrow. Open it. And uh, here I want to move my arrow using rigid body and vector. So I need rigid body and I need public vector2 direction, but uh, let's set uh, this to null vector 0, 0. Uh, in start, I want to set a reference to my rigid body so I can use it. Rigid body 2D. Great. Now I will use that uh, rigid uh, body velocity and set to direction. Also, I want to change update to fixed update because uh, we are using physics here. So, idea is uh, to change this x value of uh, this uh, vector direction. Uh, and we will do that in another script, but for example, let's uh, set this to minus 10 because we want to go uh, to the left with the arrow. And if we click play, our arrow will move. Great, let's uh, just set this to zero. Now uh, let's add arrow spawn to our scene. And let's place it here. And if you can see it, because it's uh, behind uh, this wall, then we will change order in layer to 1. Now we can see it and we can change rotation on Z to 90 degrees. And maybe change size to 1.5, 1. 1.5. 1. Five, and I want to spawn arrows from this point. So I will create a new script, C sharp script, arrow spammer. Open it. Here I need a few things. First, I need uh, my arrow script. So I will use that as my prefab, arrow prefab. I need speed, public float arrow speed. Uh, I need private uh, variable time, and I want to set this to zero. That we will use for arrow delay, and I also want public float arrow delay. Here I need the uh, public bool from left and set this to false by default I need private bool shoot and finally I need private vector 2 direction 2 that is all what uh, we need here in the start function, we will set our direction to vector to new vector 2 and on x I want to use arrow speed and on y 0. In update we need if statement if shoot equals to true. So if we can shoot arrows, then I need another if statement if our variable time is less than time that time 
and here I want to set my variable to time that time plus arrow delay. So this if statement will give me arrow delay, and so I can shoot my arrow every one second, two seconds, and so on. So, but uh, before that, I need arrow script that I will call arrow and I want to instantiate my arrow prefab and on transform that position transform that rotation and I want to instantiate that as arrow script so now I can use that arrow that I created so arrow that direction equals to direction 2. Now I created arrow and set this vector 2 direction to direction 2. And here in start we set that direction 2 is new vector that on x uses uh, arrow speed and that will determine speed and orientation of our arrow so let's try this out but just for example let's make this public so let's go back to unity create the uh, prefabs from arrow and arrow spam so we want uh, to add arrow to arrow prefab uh, speed let's say minus 10 and we want to shoot arrow every two seconds and we want uh, to enable this shoot so but uh, we will have one problem you will see it now so if I click play see that rotation is not right so that is because our rotation from a spawner is 90 degrees and when we instantiate our arrow we used that rotation so but uh, we also have this bool from left and we will use it to change uh, rotation so here we will use if our from left is equal to true then we are shooting from the left side then we want to set our arrow rotation to quaternion that Euler and now we can set rotation that we want and we are shooting from the left so let's go to unity and here we will shoot from the left when it's true then we want to set our rotation to 180 uh, you can also do that uh, changing scale to minus 1 but we will do this uh, with rotation so when we are shooting from the left we want to Z rotation 180 and if else sorry else else if mm, we are shooting from the right right so when this is false we want a rotation to be zero so we need this arrow and rotation is zero so let's copy this and change this to zero so we create arrow set a direction and speed and then ro rotate that arrow let's try this now 
now it works. Great. Now we can click apply and duplicate that arrow span, control D, move it here, set rotation to negative 90. And now we are shooting from the left, so we want to check this box and we need to set this to positive value because we want to arrow shoot to the right. Okay, let's click play. And now I shoot arrows from the left or right, but they are colliding. So we will fix that later. Now uh, let's add the box to the collider to our arrow spam and maybe change position and size. Great, and uh, let's select is trigger. Okay, and now let's go to arrow spanner script. Outside update, uh, we will say void on trigger enter. 2D, collider to the other, and now we want to check if other that game object that tag is player. Then we want to set shoot to true, and we can copy this, paste it, and Replace enter with exit and set shoot to false. So when we enter trigger, we will set shoot to true, and when we exit trigger, we will set shoot to false and we will stop shooting. So let's try this out. So let's uh, turn off this shoot and here also so let's delete that great we can click apply so now and we can also delete this arrow now click play and if I enter treasure great I will shoot arrows and if I move outside I'm not shooting arrows Great. Now we have a few problems. First, if you take a look on this uh, map and walls, you can see that uh, walls also have colliders and our arrow has collider. It's not a trigger because we use a shield system and sometimes uh, when we spawn arrow here it will collide with uh, this wall collider and uh, this wall collider is on a layer ground so we will turn off that uh, collision in layer matrix so let's select our arrow layer add a layer and let's call this arrows layer add arrow to arrows layer, go to edit, project settings, physics 2D, and here you will have this checked, but uh, you want to uncheck so that arrows can collide with the ground and with other arrows. Now if we click play, Arrows will go through wall and they won't collide with each other. Last thing, we want to destroy arrow when it hits this side, left side. So we will create empty object. Let's call this this destroy arrows and let's add box collider 2D. Select is trigger, move it here, change size, 
and create a new script. Let's call this destroyer and add to destroy arrows. Open this and we can delete this. And here we just need void on treasure enter 2D collider 2D other if other that game object that compare tag and our arrows have tag I think yes tag is arrow so arrow then we want to destroy game object other game object so this will destroy our arrows let's test this out enter treasure shoot arrow and arrow will be destroyed so great everything works this is all for today if you like this video please like share and subscribe and see you soon